Something else, a great family trip for yes, the 4th of July yes. is to head down to the St. Paul Rodeo. It's a classic, and that is where Kathy Marshall is live today. Hey, Kathy. Hey, howdy, partners. I don't know that they say that around these parts, but uh, howdy, Shelby partners. Pearson on True over there, and Emily Peebles is on Banker here, and they are getting ready to show us some trick riding. They made the trip all the way from Canada, Alberta, and British Columbia. Long ways they came to Oregon, and they say it correctly, right? Right. We're so excited to be at the St. Paul Rodeo. It's very famous, even up in Canada. Um, so yeah, we are gonna give you guys a sneak peek right now of what our show is gonna look like. We're basically doing um, gymnastics on our really fast horses. In St. Paul, give me an Oregon. Oregon. <laughs> Not Oregon. Now you do something called the uh, Cossack death drag. Are you gonna show that to us today? Yeah, we are. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to let you go do some trick riding for us as we call in Ruth Nicholas here, who helps market the uh, St. Paul Rodeo. So they're going to be in the ring here behind us, and we'll watch uh, in wonder what they're doing. Give us a sense of why they are here. Now, they're not competing. Correct. They are here as entertainment. We pride ourselves on, on being a good family event where you come and you have a good time and you're entertained, and that's what these ladies do. Their trick riding is like gymnastics on horseback, and it's fast. And and it's dangerous and it's beautiful and it's just fun to watch. In addition to the show they're putting on, there's quite a competition going on here. I think seven different events. So what will people see? There will be 615 cowboys and cowgirls over our five-day run starting tonight, ending Saturday night. And they will um, be competing for money. We'll pay out, when the rodeo's over, about over $300,000 to the cowboys and cowgirls who come. World champions, a lot of or Oregonians among them. So it's just fun to watch. Bull riding, barrel racing, calf roping, team roping, steer wrestling, saddle bronc riding, bareback riding. We got it all. Wow, she was really moving when she came by here. The the uh, dirt kicked up. I'm sure that happens in the rodeo as well as, mm -hmm. as people take in what they're doing with the trick riding. Now, in terms of competition, you were saying this happens over several days. I think it starts today, go through Sunday. Now, are winners crowned each day? No, what we do is all the scores are put together and on Saturday night, we determine our winners. It's the fastest time or the highest score from whichever event as of Saturday night, combining Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. As I watch this trick riding, Ruth, oh my goodness, it, it's like at times you think they're falling off. It's awesome. This, you know, trick riding is sort of a lost art. It was a very popular in the 20s and the 30s, but it's making a comeback because in part of people like Shelby and Emily who are so good at it. And it's just beautiful to watch. Yeah, they were telling me that they have quite a bit of riding experience, started off Western, and then both had this desire to trick ride, were happy to meet each other so they could do it together. Yeah, these girls are young. They're like 18 and 21 and very, very agile and very good at what they do. All right. I'm scared. Were you? <laughs> Not at all. We have done this um, for about 10 years, a little over 10 years. Um, so it comes pretty natural now. Muscle memory. <laughs> We've got some great horses at the moment. So yeah, it's been fun. All right. And what do you think of this area so far? It's your first trip here to Oregon. Yeah, We love it. It's beautiful. Um, just driving around. So awesome. We love the arena. It's like a trick rider's dream in there. It's big. It's a nice shape. The trees keep your horses to the fence. It's been so good. We're so excited to get started. Well, we're thrilled to have you here. Best of luck, Emily and Shelby. And enjoy your time here at the St. Paul Rodeo. And Rod, they're very happy that there's no mud in this ring. And they're excited about this beautiful weather. I'm telling them they hit us in a good stretch right oh Kathy be sure to pass along to them I've taken my family out there numerous times over the years and always had such a great time big thanks to the people put on that uh, rodeo out in beautiful St. Paul